This is Fisher Frying Products. I'm Dave Hertner. Welcome to The Nest. Our video newsletters provide weekly insight into building and flying our 15 wooden aircraft designs. Polini Motori of Italy is a gracious sponsor of our channel. Polini is the manufacturer of the Thor 250 DS, a two-stroke liquid-cooled 36 horsepower engine that is used in all of our single seat designs. Please take the time to watch our videos to the end as this assists us in the metrics that YouTube uses to rate our channel. Hit the like button if you feel that the content is worthy. We invite you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hitting the bell so that you are notified whenever we post our newsletters. Welcome back to The Nest, everyone. I'd like to thank all of the people that came this week to our website and chose to see the sample plans. Um, I know they're not very big and whatnot, and if you want more information, then give us a call. But um, all of these people listed beside here uh, took the time to um, take the sample plans, and we really appreciate it. Um, now, do you know that we offer tail kits uh, at a very low cost? Um, for $500, we'll give you all of the components to build the tail components, the fin, the rudder, the elevator and the uh, horizontal stabilizer for the aircraft of your choice and then uh, you know you can build it you get a hands-on uh, uh, chance at try your hand at wood construction and um, and you can cover it and you can place it on your wall and if you decide to build and order a kit from us afterwards we'll take that five hundred dollars off the fuselage kit or the whole kit if you order the whole kit uh, the balance of the kit so it's a really good deal it gets you sort of um, comfortable with the wood and, and, and putting things together and see if you, you see if you're good at it and it's low risk so uh, give us a call if you're interested in purchasing one of our uh, tail kits for any of any of our models um, today uh, I'd like to remind everyone about our aria early bird uh, offer uh, kit offer um, again when we get um, the kits available uh, in 2022 uh, they're going to be going for $25,000 for the fixed gear version and $28,000 for the retractable version. And uh, we've got the special kit offer right now uh, for $22,500, which also includes an at-cost uh, Rotax engine or a 75-kilowatt electric uh, power propulsion system from ElectroThrust. So you've got... Um, uh, you got to get in on it. There's only going to be five of these special offers uh, offered out, uh, and uh, we've already got one taker. So um, if you're interested in this aircraft, uh, give me a call. Uh, let's have a chat about it. Uh, we'll let you know where we're at uh, with the development of it, and um, and uh, you can be in on, on this right at the ground floor. So uh, give us a call, 519-933-2055, or you can contact me at Dave at FisherFlying.com. Uh, today we have a, uh, we went into the shop and um, Lionel we did a video today of how to do uh, lamination layup uh, properly uh, we do it on our jigs in the uh, in the shop and uh, right now we're building a, uh, a celebrity for a client in Chile and uh, he wanted the the quick build so we're doing we were doing the layups in our jigs so we thought we'd show everybody how that went um, again, showing uh, how the uh, how the, glue, the glue mixing of the glue goes uh, for uh, a proper um, proper coating and a good part. So I'm um, just going to go right to that. Uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, and here's Lionel. Good day, everyone. So today I will show you um, how to create a nice and professional um, elevator and especially how we laminate the, that part here with uh, uh, different strips like this. It's very easy and there is multiple ways how to do that but uh, this is one way that I would like to show you today how I, I, I do it. Um, also we will uh, speak about the gussets. The gussets are the things that you install here just to reinforce a little bit um, the, 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 the part here, the elevator and uh, there is also two different techniques for that and I will show you and explain it as well. 
Also, uh, when you receive the, the kit from Fisher Frank Products, as a quick build, you receive the kit, so for example, the elevator like this, but it's this rough part, so there is no gussets and no finishing on the, on the things. So you will have to send a little bit and I will show you as well how to round that part with a smooth and uh, good finish of the, the, the product. Again, a uh, lot of questions about how to mix properly the T88 that you will receive with your kit. So it's based with uh, two different uh, jars like this. So there is multiple ways. You can weight the things, you can just uh, uh, measure with a cup. But the easiest way, in my opinion, is just to use the, the bottom of a pop can like this and just draw some strips. Um, the hardener and the glue itself has different thickness. So sometimes if you put one line, the, that line might be more easy to, to uh, throw into the, the can. This one is more thicker, so it might be difficult sometimes to have the same uh, line. So just make sure that you have all, all the times the same thickness of uh, the two different products. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, I, was, I used just to check the level of my uh, product inside the, the jar. If the level is same level, means that I did already for the day a good mixing proportion. Uh, if not, you might have some, some, some uh, glue that was not properly mixed, uh, but most of the time, 99% of the time, if you make the right lines every time, you won't have any prob problems. So I will show you how I do it with this one. So I just put five regular lines into the can. And I anticipate a little bit because when you finish the last last line, sometimes there is some 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 glue wants to drop a little bit. So I just stop squeezing the the, the, the jar before I reach the end of the line like this. I've got my last line is is the same as the, the other ones, and same for the the hardener. So I just put five lines. This one is thicker, so I I take more time, and I make sure that the thickness and the the, the size of the line that I put into the can are equal with the, the glue that I put just two minutes ago. And here we go. Now I end up with two times five lines, they are equal. And then I take a piece of wood, I just mix the things properly for one minute and the glue is ready to use. Here we go. So now we are uh, in the process of the lamination to laminate the strips for the bow. So this is that area that we want to create, that shape, and we do that with that type of strips that you receive with your kits. So, uh, multiple ways to do that. The one that I like is just, I start to glue the first one, and then I apply the next one on top of the glue. You can, you can apply glue on both sides, but because we will squeeze with a lot of clamps, the, the glue will be soaked into the wood on both sides, anyhow. So. And then I do it multiple times until I reach the total amount of strips that you have to apply. The drawings will say how many strips you have to apply, between six and eight most of the time. And then when it's done, I've got two sides, they are not glued together. So it's clean and no, no waste of glue, stuff like this. And then I apply the shape into the jig that I will show you just later on. But now I will just show you how I, I apply the glue on the first strip. So I make sure that my glue is well mixed. And then I just take a piece of wood and I just apply the glue on one side. I make sure that the, the wood is completely covered by the, the glue. And if I put a lot of glue on the sides, that's fine. I can just use my wood edge and take it back into the place and I do and I repeat that process for all the strips it uses a lot of glue to do that and it takes time but the result will be perfect Then I make sure that I've got a lot of glue everywhere. I don't have dry spots. And when it's done, okay, I'm supposed to do the full, the full strip, of course. And then when it's done, I just take the next one, I put on top, 
and I repeat the process all the time for all the strips. I will show you the result in five minutes. So uh, now we, we have uh, the jig in place. I can put some uh, more release uh, on the jig because this jig is made this wood so we don't want to have the, the parts cut uh, bonded to, to the jig. You can use that things or you can just apply a, a layer of uh, clear plastic uh, on top of your drawings. So now it's time to put in place the piece that I glue together, eight lamination in total. So I like to start from, from the middle and I take my piece like this, I create a bow ready, I put it in place at the middle mostly. Here we go. And then I clamp the first one and you see it just came apart, it's fine because there is plenty of glue and there was, the glue will squeeze later when I will clamp everything together. I put another clamp here just to make sure that we start the rough shape make sure that the thing is uh, well centered and we have enough distance here to cut later so the, the lamination comes longer than what you need but you trim at the end when everything is set up and then you put all the clamps on each little block that you install already or the nails that you install on the jigs when you create the jigs and start always from, from the middle. Like this, you will spread all the, the tension in the lamination from the middle up to the end, and you will end up with a good result. Also, make sure that the lamination is well flat against the, the jig, because they might try to, to, to squeeze like this each other. So make sure they are really flat. It will be easier to send later the excess of glue. And then you continue to clamp. As you know, Fisher Flying Products aircraft likes to build planes with a lot of clamps. So you should be familiar with those kind of tools that we always use. So I did not mention, but the, the T88 glue, uh, you can use it for, you can work with it with, uh, for 20 minutes to half an hour and then the, the TATA start to, uh, to cure. So try to, to glue the lamination in, in 20 to half an hour. If you cannot do that, if you don't have the time and you don't have the, the technique to do it so fast, that's fine. So just glue four or five, put them in place, and then the next day you will put the, the last four or three that you didn't have the time to glue in 20 minutes. Uh, why I say the next day? because you want first the things it's cure completely because otherwise you cannot remove the clamps and you will just the bow will just take its place again so that, that's how i do it but 20 minutes to half an hour to to glue eight pieces it's, it's not too difficult here we go and if you have enough clamps that's fine just put extra here Make sure that the glue squeeze out of the laminations and you will end up with a very strong chip. Here we go. When the thing is cured, you can either remove it. This is for the, the rudder, for example, that I did yesterday. So you can remove it out of the jig. It takes its shape like this. This is six lamination. Uh, you can send the edges to get rid of the excess of the glue, that's fine. But what I suggest you, just keep it inside the, the jig in place, remove all the clamps, just clean up a little bit with uh, some uh, paper, sand, sanding paper, the inside, and start to build, you know, the, the, uh, the ribs or stuff that you have to glue against that, uh, that, uh, that part, that leading edge. Um, all the trims, like it's too big or too long here, you just 
cut those things very at the end when everything the, the full piece is made and cured you remove everything out of the jig and you you trim the the, the excess of wood you send the excess of uh, uh, glue uh, etc uh, also uh, the the leading edge so this is the leading edge of the horizontal stab it will come as a, in your kit as a quick build kit it will come like square like the, the strips itself uh, what we do most of the time to get this nice finish we just round here that part to have a, a more uh, aerodynamic uh, uh, shape so to do that you can just take a piece of uh, paper sanding paper put it in your palm of your hands and you just start to, to sand the ammunition is made of pine so it's very easy to to, to send to that shape the only thing is to keep the, the, the rough the same shape everywhere along uh, uh, the, um, the bow itself or you can create a block so you just uh, take a piece of wood you make a, a groove into it a rounded groove into it with a, a, a drill bit that's rounded and then you create the shape that you want and then you can use the block as a guide to get a nice uh, shape um, now about the gussets i told you uh, uh, previously that we can put some gusset up you have to put some gussets the gussets are the little plywood 116 or 18 depending on the plant's uh, size uh, this is that things that make sure that all the joints and all the parts that you glue together uh, are, are uh, um, glued perfectly together and won't, won't come apart um, it creates like a sandwich like a plywood final uh, piece so there is two ways to do that so the nice way to do it is just to take a router a hand router and just shape the 116 uh, thickness of your plywood that you apply the gusset that you apply just remove 116 of the, 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 the area that you want to glue the plywood and then you can apply the gusset plywood and you should end up to to have a nice smooth finish so when you will cover that area you won't see under the, the fabric you won't see the gussets it will be uh, flush with everything or you can just glue on top of everything the gusset but you will end up to have the fabric that you will see the, 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 the gusset under. You can also maybe just fade a little bit the edges um, and just avoid to have a, a rough square uh, shape under the fabric. But I suggest that you just route the part that you want to apply the gusset. It takes not so long to do it. So just cut the gusset pre previously, draw the lines with the pencil where the gusset will be, remove the gusset, you wrote the things with 116 thickness or 1A depending on the, the pieces you want to, uh, to work on and then make sure that it's flush when you apply the glue if it's not really flush then uh, get in, uh, deep in enough you just sand the plywood a little bit on the edges here it's fine so the idea is just to reinforce all the, the parts together and, and then become very strong one single piece okay that's it for today hope you enjoyed the, the video thanks again for watching we try hard to bring you interesting content each week. To help us out, please like and share our videos. And to receive the latest info from Fisher Flying Products, click the subscribe button and ring the bell. See you next time from the nest.